I live in fear going to work every day. Global history teacher Danielle Kaminsky has been working at Origins High School for seven years and says it's become increasingly more hostile. I've had students call me a dirty Jew. I've had students um, draw swastikas on my desk and bulletin boards. I've had students tell me that they want to kill my family. Photos she shared show free Palestine post-its placed on her classroom door and a disturbing social media post. She says the hateful behavior has resulted in students leaving the school. On a former Jewish student, they drew swastikas on his laptop charger. The school has no consequences or they just say it's academic conversation. In a letter to the school community, the principal wrote, I can assure you that we do not tolerate discrimination or hate in our community and respond to all potential acts of discrimination, harassment or bias that may occur. Campus safety manager Michael oh Beaudry God. says he made 15 complaints to the special commissioner of investigation for the New York City School District already this school year, but none to his knowledge has been addressed. You are perpetuating an acceptance to the behavior, which is now creating an environment where it's happening more frequent and harsher. In a statement, a DOE spokesperson said it's investigating the allegations, and while there are no reports or evidence to support these claims, students and staff deserve to be safe and respected in their school, while also praising the principal's, quote, track record of building bridges. At the school, it's not just anti-Semitism that has been left unchecked. There's also <clears throat> been incidents of racism. Community leaders held a news conference Sunday urging the district to do more. I've been asking one question from the DOE for the last eight months. What are the consequences for students who do this and what are the consequences for teachers? I'm still waiting for an answer. In the letter, the principal noted there will be opportunities this week for the school community to come together to determine ways forward. Kaminsky and Beaudry say they hope speaking out will lead to change. In Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS2 News.